This incident happened in Manassas, Virginia. We have half a million people here. It's a suburb of Washington, D.C. Manassas is now, 25 years later, much, much larger. But at the time, it was a nice uh, bedroom community type place. It does have the uh, advantage of being next door to the first battlefield of the Civil War, Bull Run. Oh, it used to be known for its Civil War history. Now it's known for the Bobbits. How did you feel on your wedding day? Do you remember? I was happy. We had just got dressed up and went down to Justice of the Peace and had a small wedding. The first time I met her, she came off as a sweet little, you know, uh, Venezuelan girl, and you know, you know, they're happy. A, a sweet little innocent girl doesn't cut a man's penis off. I never really expected to have a, a perfect Mary, but I knew there's things that if you, you know, you can compromise and uh, you can you cope. I think the marriage started off fine while John was still in the Marines. I think the problem evolved when his enlistment was up. In 1991, John gets discharged from the Marine Corps, so he is kind of without a steady paycheck. And he scraps and he tries, and he's not a deadbeat, but he, he, he seems to have trouble kind of holding down jobs. Lorena is the main breadwinner. What was Lorena doing for a living? Uh, she was working as a nanny for Janet, and Janet, you know, working for at the beauty salon doing nails. Janet Vasudi was a businesswoman who owned the nail cuttery. Janet was a, some, maybe a little bit of a mother figure at that point. Lorena had oftentimes seemed to have cried on Janet's shoulder, and uh, Janet seems to have tried to protect her. She said she loved him and she wanted her marriage to work, and she was going to do anything to try to make her marriage work. Jenna was successful and had kind of a swanky house, and she had fancy cars, and she had a boat. And John feels that their troubles began when kind of Lorena began hankering after these kind of material possessions, and that's what an American dream meant to Lorena. We started off at a studio apartment, we could have, which we could afford. We were young. We should have worked our way up, but no. She wanted more, more, more. So you know, from studio to a luxury apartment, and we had two new cars. So, so you we were living way outside the, your means, yeah, way above your way. means. What would you be fighting about? TV, the radio, stupid stuff. You know, um, you were young. You just fought over things that we shouldn't have been fighting over. She was stubborn. She was selfish, and she wanted things her way. They were a couple who were tempestuous. They were tempestuous in their loves. They were tempestuous in their jealousies. They were tempestuous in their fights. How soon? Did you feel he began getting beyond speaking and becoming physically abusive to you? Um, like a month after we One got married. month yes. into the marriage? Yes. He was driving um, on the highway. He started driving like a zigzag and driving very fast, very, very fast. And I was scared, and I said, I'm scared, please don't drive like that. And I hold the steering wheel so I, it can go astray, and he punched me. Hard? Yes, really hard. I was crying, I was very shocked. Yes, that somebody hit me like that, and especially from my husband, somebody, that I marry him and I, I loved him. She was astonished by that because that was something that was she was unfamiliar with in the relationship leading up to the marriage. She'd never seen that side of John. There was a big jealousy factor that set in. She knew John was good looking and women might come on to him. She got upset with it, you know, if anybody talked to me. Any, any girl or some girl I looked in the, the girl's direction, she would get mad. She punched me. She punched you? Yes. Yeah, How often did she hit you? A lot. You know, she got mad. She was, she was just a very jealous person, very possessive. Did not want anybody around me. I think she's always afraid someone was going to take me away from her. Like I was her prize. And I'm, you know, this is my man, this is my Marine, this is my ticket. 
He would say to me every time that he was mad at me, he said, once a Marine is always a Marine. I remember um, one time I was um, and laying on the floor, he was actually chucking me. And I was crying and um, I was, um, I couldn't breathe. Lorena has said that you were physically abusive to her. Yeah. Well, it's easy to turn things around. I can say, well, she's physically abusive to me. She never went to the hospital, never had anything seriously wrong with her at all. A lot of turmoil. It wasn't like we were out to kill each other. You never fought back? Tried to, you know, subdue her or restrain her. Not to hit her, I mean. The pushing, shoving, a punch here, punch there. And then she said it uh, carried over into the bedroom that he uh, seemed to be very uh, stimulated, excited by violent sex. He, he forced me into sex. He told me that he was, that that kind of sexual uh, sex, for sex excited him. And uh, I would just cry. Like so many of the accusations that fly back and forth between John and Lorena, this one is hard to reconcile. John denies that he was ever excited by violent sex. Why not have left him early on when you saw this terrible situation you were in? I feel like I don't want to fall into the marriage. I'm Catholic and I don't believe in divorce. I would like to work it out. What came between them was uh, even more poison and toxic in a relationship that was already falling apart. 